winning. Define it in life any way you want, by a scoreboard. Yes! In corporate America, it can be established by the bottom line. But what most experts find is the internal compass leads to the external results. We need to keep this caught. You can't make a channel out of it. Okay. And we need to get one ball per hole. It should be easy. Without, without duplicating. So if two balls go in, you got to start again. Or if it comes off the side, you have to start again. Enter the world of Jeff Prouty, where in some creative ways, his team tries to help change that bottom line. All right. <laughs> All right. Jeff, how do you get to here? 1987, you say, I'm going to start my own company. A lot of people say, I want to go out on my own. What was your catalyst? I was actually in uh, business school, Harvard Business School, and I said, I'm not loving graduate school. And I knew at the age of 22, I wanted to have my own business. And finally, at the age of 30, I said, it's time, and dropped out of business school to start my business. Thus was born his company where they work with CEOs to help them compete. And they do it with an approach that tries to stimulate your own creative thought. We've got three pieces of the pie that we're going to show them right up front. Right. And what, where are we aiming for? Well, I'm a big believer you've got to get away. You've got to step away. You've, we had a discussion yesterday about it. pondering time, just time to take a walk, listen to music. Rest in bed, the research says resting in bed, in the shower, walking in nature, listening to music. That's when great ideas hit. So these are just some of the places that you've been, huh? These are some of the places we've been and some interesting people from experiences along the way. This guy he does it by going exotic, by taking clients to places overseas they have not seen, where you test leadership skills. What brings out the best in a leader? The worst of times or the best of times? Well, I think you see the real something in the worst of times. It, uh, good business can cover up a lot of sins. When times are tough, then I think you see the real person. Under stress, you see the real person. It is an exercise called stretching, where clients go to places they have not been and they work together and live together in a new environment. I think it gives people a broader view of the world and that bigger perspective helps them be more strategic. And I think it helps you think about the long view versus the, what's the 90-day quarterly uh, result we're trying to achieve. How can we think about a bigger world? How can we have a, uh, a bigger purpose in life? When you take yourself out of your boardroom and into the big room that is this world, and you do it together, there is a different mentality that creates a different feel for each other. Is the number one thing that an employee looks for trust? I would say trust and can I learn something from this person? I mean, can I trust the person? That's a given. Or I want that to be a given. But can I learn something from this person? Can this person help me? And we're thinking is if we could say, what's broken? What do we need to fix right away? What do we need to wait on and, and maybe do that? And how are we going to behave so that we don't get in this situation? We're going to be better off. This is one way to keep a CEO fresh, by taking him or her in a direction that challenges the mind of leaders that seem to share one common trait. Is there a common denominator of a leader or a CEO of a business or not? I think there's a common denominator. I mean, most of the CEOs with whom we work, and we worked last year with 81 CEOs, they're all driven, they're all passionate. And that comes from something that complements the successful people. They don't search for a job, they search for a place they can grow into what they want to be as employees and people. I think you've got to love what you're doing, to really be good at it. You've got to love it. Day in, day out, you've got to love it. <laughs> what Prouty has learned is needed is a drive that is uncommon. A belief that setbacks will not defeat you. An attitude usually wins. I think just tenacity, you know, willingness to say, I'm not giving up. I'm going to keep trying. He set out to help the corporate world by stretching itself. And in so doing, he's created his own dream job. Because of the concepts, yes. But more importantly, because of the people and because sitting around a campfire with some clients one night, he realized possibilities are still 
almost infinite. And we came up with a list of about 450. 450 things 450 that would be interesting, yeah. invigorating, fun yeah. to do? Yeah, so let's uh, whitewater raft down a uh, an undone whitewater river in Alaska. Let's, uh, let's bike uh, across some continent. Life to the Max is brought to you by LifeTouch, photography for a lifetime.